Amen. Praise the Lord, New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I bring you greetings from the New Horizons Church where Christ is the way and the word is clear. We thank God for our prayer ministry. I thank God for the prayer warriors of this ministry, lifting their pastor in prayer and coming alongside of me and praying with me each and every day. Listen, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to the to the page, thank you for coming and joining in with us. You are welcome to pray with us each and every day. This whole entire month, we've been praying about the names of the Holy Spirit, the titles and the descriptions that we find of the Holy Spirit in Scripture. And it's been our desire to get closer to him, to have a more intimate relationship with the Holy Spirit so that he can produce the fruit of the Spirit in our life. And so we're praying today, day number 26, about the fruit of patience from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 and 23. And it's from the New Living Translation that I'm going to read today. Here's what the Word of God says. But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Amen. So today we're going to pray and ask God to produce his patience through us today. So come on, let's go to the Lord in prayer together. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah, God. Glory, 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 glory. Lord, we love you and we honor you today. God, we magnify you, lift you up and praise your holy name. God, we say hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. Lord, with the fruit of our lips, we bless you. With the clapping of our hands, we bless you. With the dancing of our feet, oh God, we bless you. Bowing in your presence, oh God, we bless you. You said to come into your courts with thanksgiving. Enter into your courts with thanksgiving and enter into your gates with praise and to bless your holy name. So, Lord, we've come into this place and this time and this space just to praise you and magnify you and lift you up and to glorify you, Lord. We come also, Lord, to confess our sins, knowing that you are faithful and just, Lord, to forgive us of our sins. So we praise you, God, for the forgiveness of sins that we've committed against you. We praise you for forgiveness of the things that we left and done you told us to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you for forgiveness of sin. Thank you for covering our sins in the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your blood that was shed, Lord God, on Calvary's cross, the innocent blood of Jesus that died in our place, in our stead, died substitutionary and sacrificially for us. For that, Lord God, we're grateful, but we're also godly sorry. We repent of our sins and we turn back to you. Lord, as we turn back to you, Lord, we turn back to our relationship with you through your son, Jesus Christ. And we turn back to you, O oh God, through our relationship with your Holy Spirit. We thank you for sending us the Holy Spirit. We thank you for filling us with the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, heavenly dove. Fill each and every believer that is under the sound of my voice, Lord God, that they may be led by the Spirit, that they may not fulfill the lust of the flesh, O oh God. I pray that as we would walk in the Spirit, Lord, and we be led by the Spirit, that the Spirit of God would, would produce the fruit of the Spirit in our life, God. We thank you for producing the fruit of love. We thank you for producing the fruit of joy. We thank you for producing the fruit of peace. Now, Lord God, we pray for the fruit of patience, Lord. We live in a time and in a world and in a season where everything seems to be right at our touch, Lord. If we want food, we can press a button on the microwave and it's heated in 30 seconds. If we want to find information, Lord, we hit a button on our phone and it comes up right away, Lord. If we want to talk to someone, we hit a button on our phone and there they are on the other end, Lord. And because of that, God, we're thankful for technology. But Lord, we know that some things in your kingdom, some things in your way takes time and takes patience, Lord. So God, give us patience today. Lord, give us patience to wait on you, Lord. Give us patience to wait on your timing, Lord. Give us patience for things to happen when you want them to happen, Lord. Let us not be in such a hurry, Lord, that we miss out on your blessings, that we miss out on what you're trying to develop in us, oh God. So we pray, Lord, that the Holy Spirit would produce the fruit of patience in our relationships, that he will produce the fruit of patience in our careers, that he'll produce the fruit of patience in our material blessings, Lord, even produce the fruit of patience in our physical blessings, Lord, that we would wait, I say, and wait, I say, upon the Lord. 
that we might renew our strength, that we might mount up with wings like eagles, and we might run and not get weary, that we might walk and not faint. Help us to be patient in you, O Lord, knowing that a blessing delayed is not a blessing denied, that, Lord God, what you have for us, it is for us, and that you'll bless us both in season as well as out of season. So, Lord God, we thank you for the Holy Spirit. We thank you for his filling, and we thank you for the fruit of patience today, and we believe that in Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thank you so much for coming alongside of me and praying with me. Today, we prayed about the Holy Spirit's fruit of patience, right? That's right, from Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22 and 23. I want you to go in the patience of the Lord. God may not have done it today. He may not have done it yesterday. That doesn't mean he's not going to do it. Just be patient and wait on God. He's no shorter than his word. Galatians 5, 22 from the New Living says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. I love you in the Lord. It's my pleasure to be able to pray with you and to pray for you. I'll be back tomorrow to do the same. Be victorious. God bless.